So you want your first lie flat on the floor with your neck relaxed, your feet flat on the floor, knees bent, pointed towards the ceiling. The first thing that we're going to do is our pelvic tilt. Create a diamond with your hands by placing your thumbs together and your first fingers together. And you're gonna have your pointer finger on the pubic symphysis, which is the bony point, and then your thumbs will go on your belly button. And you want this to be flat. So what we're going to do is just gently tilt your pelvis up and back and just rock until you feel that you are flat on the floor. So your sacrum, you will feel flattened out. And every week that you do this, you will notice there's less rocking that you have to do because the whole point of these exercises is to strengthen this area and to keep your pelvis stable. So always the first thing is to just get that pelvis stabilized. Once you feel that that is stabilized, you can put your hands down by your side. Now the next little exercise and a reminder, these exercises that we're doing today are just our conditioning exercises to basically get into the Pilates workout. So this is just an introduction and we're setting the foundation for Pilates in order to be able to be strong and lean and do the exercises correctly. We're gonna do lateral breathing. Because you are engaging your core throughout the workout, you need a place for your breath to go. And so when you are breathing, what we're really focusing on is actually expanding our ribs to the side. And there is research to prove there are lots of benefits to this. So what you're gonna do is place your hands on your rib cage, and you're gonna take an inhale in through your nose. And instead of allowing your stomach to go up, I want you to imagine your ribs expanding. So you're just going to kind of Try to keep your stomach from rising. You want to keep that flat and let your ribs expand to the side. We're going to do five breaths together. Inhale through your nose. Allow the ribs to expand. And then exhale and allow the ribs to come back in. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale through your nose. Allow the ribs to expand outward. And then exhale through your mouth. Inhale through your nose. Exhale. Last time. Inhale. And exhale. It's a very relaxing breath, and there's research to prove how beneficial that is for you. But throughout the whole Pilates routine, you're going to want to breathe in that way. You don't want to stop breathing, but you don't want to breathe from your belly, you want to breathe outward. So the next little conditioning exercise that we're going to do are leg slides. And you can put your hands on your hips, like this, kind of on your iliac crest right here, which is your hip bone. You can just hold it so you can see if it's moving or not. And you wanna keep that stable while you extend one leg out and bring it back in. And we're going to alternate. And you're gonna slide on your heel. So you're going to extend your leg out and then back in all while keeping that pelvis stable. And we're gonna do the other side, out, and bring it back in. So inhale as you extend your leg out. Exhale as you bring it back in. Other side, inhale as you bring it out. And exhale as you bring it back in. Breathing is very important during this exercise. It is a foundational principle of Pilates. You want to breathe with the movement. 
That's why it also is such a great mind-body connector because of the breath. So bring that leg back in. Inhale, extend your left leg. Exhale and bring it back in. And last time on the right, inhale. And exhale as you bring it back in. Inhale. And exhale as you bring it back in. The last thing we're going to do in this first workout together is a plank. Now, the plank, we are going to work on this because this is core strength. So we are going to start with just a 10 second plank. And let me show you the proper way to do a plank. So, we are going to start with putting your elbows directly underneath your shoulders. This will stabilize your shoulder so you don't put too much pressure on your shoulder. And you are going to go onto your toes or onto your knees, whichever is comfortable. Again, it's all about quality, not quantity. So you, you can't go up on your toes just yet. That's okay. So when we're going to do this, we are going to maintain that lateral breathing and we're going to maintain keeping our core strong and keeping it stable. So lift up, keep your back straight. And what you want to do is actually tighten your hips together, kind of push your feet outward a little bit, squeeze those legs together, and we're going to go for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, you're almost there, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, come down, 